everyone, this is Mike Check 95 and I'm here to start a new idea for the channel. It's kind of an idea that um, I've been wanting to do for quite some time for the last couple months since I lived in Pitt, but I never really, I guess, got the motivation to do it until today. So if you remember about six to seven months ago when I created the new intro, I add on there that there was going to be some music reviews for like new music or albums coming out. Yeah. I was going to do that for the new Slipknot album that came out around that time period, but I never got to it. So I figured that I can uh, do that with the new Seven Dust song that came out the other day. I'm going to be reviewing Seven Dust's new song called Fence. We're going to be reviewing the song itself and also the music video that they created for the song. So here we go, folks. I will try my best to put some footage of the um, music video on screen. There probably won't be that much on there due to copyright reasons, but I'll try my best to put it on there as sporadic as possible due so that it can make it a bit more entertaining so that you guys can kind of see what I am looking at when it comes to the music video. But here we go with Seven Dust's new song, Fence. The first thing that we're going to be looking at is the music video of Fence by Seven Dust. So here we go. Oh, before we get into it, the thumbnail is very, uh, very interesting. It looks like they did like a claymation route, but I guess we're going to find out uh, what we're getting ourselves into. Oh, so I was right. Very claymation-like. This is something that I haven't seen done since probably the early 2000s, maybe the late 90s, but rarely ever see claymation style like music videos. This is going to be interesting to kind of look at. I do like the choice of claymation, though. Kind of brings you back to the early 2000s, late 1990s. Looks like they're uh, doing an actual uh, concert in this one. I wonder what they're going to do with this toxic weight kind of thing. And the... This is drink it! And it turns them into zombies. This is definitely classic early 2000s. Early 2000 zombie outbreak with toxic waste. That's entertaining. I love it. I want to see this in a live action kind of style. Like, I'm not doggone the claymation style. Just it'd be interesting seeing how they would do it in live action. Captain America throwing the symbol. And he's screaming so loud because his vocals are amazing. He makes the zombie's head blow up. What the hell? These guys had so much fun with it. Zombie shocking. Oh no, one of them got bit. They all just get turned to zombies? It just turns into a zombie concert? What the hell? <laughs> oh man. Oh man. And they pretty much play this song to their death. Well, a zombie outbreak occurs outside of the, the venue. So, I'm going to actually say that, granted, I did say that I would have enjoyed a more live-action spin to it, because, I mean, it would have been fun, but the idea of claymation and stop-motion is actually very, go very good and interesting. Just the way it was animated was very... I'm glad that they actually decided to go back to their roots with that kind of style, because, again, a lot of... Um, I've, saw, I've seen a lot more music videos back in the day that were more like that with the claymation and the stop motion, so I do like that quite a bit, that they went for that route, even for like a 2023 song, so I really did like that. So to start things off, the song definitely feels like a very high-paced, high-active, adrenaline-like song, so uh, for those who like to listen to high-octane, speeding, racing song while driving, this song could be very dangerous for you guys, or if you are into that kind of thing. Yeah, I think it's a pretty good song to listen to while you're driving and or racing. I don't contone street racing at all. Please don't use that as an excuse for me. All in all, like from what I have heard before listening to the song, um, a lot of people were trying to say that it was as good, if not better. I don't think it would, they say it was better, but like it was like them going back to their animosity days. That's how it's been for the last probably three or four albums. Actually, in the last two albums, they said that they've been trying to go back to their animosity days, to which, in my opinion, like, 
And it's very hard to top off Animosity, the album Animosity, because it, like, has its own special aura, its own energy that, like, I feel like nothing can really compare to any of the rest of their work. Not saying that that's where they peaked, but it's, it's very hard to repeat that kind of success when it comes to that album, because Animosity is one of those very few albums you can listen from start to finish and like every single song on the albums and all the tracks. This one, for my opinion, it's not quite animosity yet, but I feel like it's got more home vibes, more so and whatnot, on that album, plus with like some modern twists. But I would say that like if it were the album of Home and the album of Cold Day Memory had made a music baby, and this is what I kind of get from it. Like I feel like it's more of the style of the mixture of Cold Day Memory and home kind of put together because there's also some hints of like rumblefish in there that uh someone had pointed out on the uh on a user comment i saw on social media it's not quite there to animosity level but i feel like it more so follows the um rhythm of the home album which is their second album not saying that that's a bad thing this song is actually very fantastic and very well done i can say for myself that it's definitely more so like a a love child of Cold Day Memory and Home. I love the Seven Dust. I've seen the guys live. I call them my boys. I've seen them live twice actually, and they've been my favorite band probably since high school. God, that was almost ten, that was over ten years ago. Jesus Christ. <laughs> For me, a ten out of ten is animosity level. This one is not quite there. Like it's at the cusp of animosity, but not yet. It still has like home vibes, as I have said a thousand times already with the love child of cold day memory i haven't really studied the lyrics too much quite yet i've well, the song's only been out for probably about less than 24 hours but there's already lyrics out and everything and i've kind of been looking them over as i was listening to the song but i mean i'd have to study them for a little bit longer to give more in depth when it comes to the meaning of the song but we're kind of here just to like get our thoughts on how the song sounds it definitely has that lovely sound to it with the tweaks of Cold Day Memory, which was one of my favorite albums uh, growing, going through high school, and Home, which is another great album that I would say it's up there. But Fence by Seven Dust, definitely go check it out, give it a shot. It's one definitely worth checking out and definitely putting it on your radar. So go check out Fence by Seven Dust. Their new album, Truth Killer, comes out July 28th of this year. If you enjoyed this video, if you want to see any more of like music reviews and everything, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Join the madness that is Mike Check Productions. Social media on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Discord. All the works on there. We also have a podcast called the Mike Check Podcast on Spotify as well. So once you get done listening to Fence, hop on over to the podcast and listen to some of our older episodes because we still haven't recorded anything new yet. But... <laughs> That just, that happens. Life happens. If you want me to do some more, leave some comments in the comment section or let us know on our social media. It's Mike Check 95 signing out.